What's going on, everybody? Jamel Gibbs, your family-oriented entrepreneur. Welcome to the Deal Pro Podcast. We have a special guest today. She's been featured on my channel before, and I've also done a reaction video uh, where you know I'll, I'll let you guys check that out up at the top. But um, Noel Randall, what's going on today? It is amazing, Jamel. So happy to have a conversation with you again. Actually able to connect with you again. I love everything that you're doing. I love the Deal Pro Academy. So I'm super happy to be here and have this conversation. I appreciate you, Noel. I know you got a challenge coming up as yes. well. Noel's, uh, you, you want to give them a little bit of information yeah. on that? Well's challenge is a wealth building challenge. So we're going to be helping you get your first deal. We're going to be showing you how to use one of the apps that I use to find deals, how it helps keep track on the CRM, how it skip traces in there, teaching you how to use business credit and business funding so that you can fund all of your deals and you don't have to use your social security number to do all of this stuff. So you can just go to noelschallenge.com, get your tickets. Um, and that's a lovely thing that we love to do. I always like, I'm just like you, Jamil. We want to keep, we want to keep teaching, learn, do teach. And the more of us, the better, you know, we can all do together. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. Uh, I'm going to make sure I link that in the description box for you guys as well. So let's get into this. So I know that I've been featuring on your channel a couple of times and I had you on my channel. This is early on when I had like 10,000 subscribers. And yeah, back killing it back then. Blew up on me. <laughs> yeah, no, you man, listen, listen, listen. I'm trying to follow in your footsteps right now. So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself, Noel? Yeah, so I'm a real estate entrepreneur, multimillionaire, author, speaker. I have a YouTube channel with over 700,000 subscribers, and really just got into the business though when I was broke, bankrupt, bad credit, living in my parents' basement. I ended up getting a mentor that taught me wholesaling, and this was in 2009. So then that really kind of sparked me to how to get real estate the correct way. You know what I mean? Because I was investing before. I just started flipping, fixing and flipping houses when I was living in Atlanta. It was the early 2000s. You know, the market was going up. But then when I ended up bankrupt in 2008, I was like, I need to do something different. So kind of just like, you know, we didn't have YouTube like it is now. So I just started going to different conferences and classes and seminars. And I ended up going to one that I heard on the radio. And that's where I got my first coach. And honestly, that was the best thing that I could ever have done, even from that terrible situation, even for me having to cancel a class to pay for the coach, because it really taught me something that I did not know about finding these distressed properties. You know, that stuff that me and you teach for free now. I paid $20,000 to learn, but right. nobody was telling us about how to buy these distressed properties, how to do creative financing, how to wholesale or fix and flip the correct way. You know, it's not all about what they teach it on TV. So right. it really became a passion of mine once I became a millionaire to start sharing this information and telling people because it was like, this is powerful and we could really change our entire community if more of us really started doing this. And I think more than anything, it was just, we didn't realize we could. So, I mean, we can really talk about that too, but I just felt like I, I, I didn't, I wasn't invited to the party, so I'm not supposed to be there, but that's just not the case. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and you're absolutely right. You know, a lot of it comes with lack of education and that's why it's so important what we're doing. Uh, yeah. to be able to support, you know, other people who have, you know, who started off kind of the way we started off with, yeah. with less than nothing. Right. And, um, <laughs> and we're able to make our way out <laughs> right, negative. Right. So what, what, why real estate? Like, why did you yeah. choose real estate as a vehicle? Yeah. For yeah, people ask me this one. This is a good one because like I said, I was fixing and flipping houses with a full-time job when I lived in Atlanta. I was in my early twenties, you know, it was 2002 or 2003 and so I had made money and had did well with it. But then when 2007, 2008 happened and I lost my job and then, you know, couldn't sell the houses and have to file bankruptcy. It was kind of like when I was back in my parents' basement, pregnant with my third kid, I was just like lost. I felt mm. like a disaster of a person. I felt like a loser. I, I felt really bad, but I kept hearing these different ads on the radio. You know what I mean? And different classes were popping up. So it was just like this in thing inside of me. I can't really say what it was, but it was just like this interest that I still had in it. Like, I, I, I think I can still do this. But when I got to the classes and they start, you know, people go on the stage and they're showing you different deals. I got this property for four thousand dollars. I'm like, where they do that at? You know, so it just like opened my mind to this world that I did not know existed, even though I thought I was in the business. So yeah. 
I've always liked real estate and flipping houses and I always like money. So, I mean, it's a good combination. <laughs> ain't, nothing, ain't nothing wrong with liking some money. I'll tell you that. It's but Hey, I'd rather be financially, I'd rather be in a great financial position than not. It's always right. better to have money than not. Exactly. I've been both. Exactly. Know, and so. we know money doesn't buy happiness and all. Not money. at all. But it can buy a lot of other things. It buys <laughs> opportunities. That's right. And, if, and, and, and it buys peace of mind a yeah. lot of times as well. But, you know, some people may differ in their yeah. opinion with that. Yeah. Right. So, so you started off, your story sounds a lot like my story. I could definitely resonate with it, you know, yeah. and that's why I love hearing your story. But, you know, I wanted people who maybe they don't know you at this yeah. point. I wanted yeah. them to really get a grasp of who Noel Randall is because yeah. at the end of the day, um, you're doing some big things on YouTube. You got, you know, over 700,000 followers, as you've mentioned. Yeah. But in addition to that, you're doing very, very well in real estate. Now you're going to be teaching people how to get their first deal next yes. week. Yes. And so at the challenge, it really, because here's another thing that has been added to it. So obviously I started this in 2009. I was able to do wholesaling deals. After I got a coach, I, I was actually able to close my first deal in six weeks wholesaling. Nice. But let's think about as I then got into fixing and flipping and then I got into rental properties and then, okay, now I'm a millionaire. But now there's even more technologies that didn't even exist back then. There's apps that we can use. I remember we used to have to pay for every single skip trace. Now inside the app, it's free and it's unlimited mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And these deals help you track where you were. There was a time I had to write down every house I had looked like at, looked at. Now it, the app tracks that for you. And then when you add to it the power of business credit and business funding and HELOCs and all of this stuff that we know about getting that equity and use it to get more properties, it is just like... The opportunities are even better now. The barriers have been lowered because obviously you guys can see, you know, me and Jamel, we are not rich white men. You know, we started off with what's supposed to supposedly these 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 strikes against us and we were able to do really well. So just, just knocking down those barriers and letting people know, like, look, you can do this. I'm going to tell you the real information. You're going to see how to do it. I'm going to tell you all of the steps. And again, we got a free YouTube channel with just libraries of videos, both you and I showing, not just talking to talking heads, but literally showing you inside of our properties that this is something you can do. And so that's what the challenge is about. It's just like getting Love more it. people in at a really low price and just like, all right, let me show you how you can get properties for pennies on the dollars. Let me show you how you can build a business that can get funding, walk into a bank, get $50,000 in your business's name. Boom. You turn that into an income producing asset. Let's do it. That's right. So, so yeah. let's talk about that. Let, let, let's go yeah. through some of the steps, right? So what's one of the first things that you would look out for? Let's say you're using an app. You don't know what you're doing in real estate right now. What's yeah. one of the first things that you would do in order to find a decent deal? Like what are some of the characteristics of a decent deal for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So because, okay, so I, at this point, I like to do short-term rentals. I like to do Airbnbs, but I, I do have some properties that I do as long-term rentals. So mm -hmm. what I really like to do is pick an area where I know I can do both. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Where I know it's not like city of Atlanta where they say no to it. Maybe it's Snellville or area right side of Orlando. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Or a community that's friendly so that I know I can do both. And then I just start picking out some zip codes. That's, I think that's the first thing is somebody kind of figuring out what their buy box is. Like, do you want a three bedroom? Do you want a four bedroom? Do you want a house that's 500,000? Do you want one that's 100,000? And I tell my students and I teach them this, you should go with what the median is. So do you, you're not looking for properties that's $500. I know people, oh, I only got $500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you find the right deal, the money will come. So the don't just gonna, look yeah. for the cheapest house you can find. Look for what most people are buying. And so in my area that I'm in, that's mostly three bedrooms. That's under $410,000. That is, um, you know, two and two bathrooms minimum. You get what I'm saying? Um, Super important. Super important thing that you just mentioned that a lot of people get confused. That is a gym right there because I tell people <laughs> this all the time. A lot yeah. of people say, hey, you know, I just found this house. And I'm like, what's the price? It was only a $20,000 house. I said, yeah, but is it a deal? Right. right. So you might buy a $20,000 house, but it's only worth $20,000. Exactly. Like, that doesn't necessarily make, mean it's a that deal. That's not make a deal. Right. So is there a spread there? Right. So if I'm looking in an Aver neighborhood and I know there, these houses are 400000 and then I find a house in there and it's two ten, that's a deal. That's a deal. Right. Not a $20,000 house. <laughs> right. So it's not the, the, the price of the home that makes it a deal. Right. It's the value that the house has in it and how 
far away from the value you can pay for the property, which yeah. makes it a deal. So you guys, you know, that's a super gem right there. You guys really need to write that down. Right. Because, I, again, I Noelle's a deal pro, right? <laughs> She's the deal pro, no pun intended. Well, pun intended, right? Um, exactly. You made, you made the academy though. <laughs> <laughs> right. I got the academy, but Noelle's a deal pro as well, right? So we only bring deal pros on this podcast and just from what she said, you could tell she's a deal pro, right? So it's not about how much you pay for right. the property. Does the property have a spread in order right. to allow you to make a profit on it? Super gem right there. Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. So another thing that I, I really like, like I said, too, is, um, you know, and I like, I like similar to you, we're ne necessarily buying houses. Like you love North Carolina. I love Florida. I like all of Florida. But right now I'm not loving South Florida. You know, mm. it's flooding. It's hard to get insurance. So, you know, I'm preferring Jacksonville over, mm. you know, Miami. If you gave me that choice, to, you know, in, in this market that we're in right now. So, again, just kind of focusing in on what it is that you're looking for. I think so many times when investors get started, they're just all over the place. Mm -hmm. And that is a problem. One thing at a time. Yeah, one you know thing I mean? at a time. Like, so kind of focus in on, on what it is that you're looking for. Like you said, it's going to be the thing with the spread. Right. Um, and another powerful thing that I have people do that I didn't focus on even when I first got started was how I created the business, mm. you know? So instead of creating an LLC that says, you know, Noelle's Real Estate Company, I may make a consulting company or a marketing company because... That's really what this is. And I can easily, I can easier Lee, <laughs> more easily. <Yeah. laughs> I had to go back to my fourth grade more easily <laughs> get funding for that LLC. And that's yep. super important. I don't think, and you know, we've learned so Man. much about who's getting funding, who's not getting funding, you know, what these high risk businesses are, what these high risk NAICS codes are, mm -hmm. you know, that type of stuff is super important because you can unlock millions of dollars in funding or make yourself into a high risk business and y'all could be doing the exact same thing. I'm glad you, you, you're talking about this because I literally just had this conversation with my asset defense attorney about a month ago. Um, okay. So I was going to set up, I'm setting up a, a well, I set up a new umbrella company and he said, don't put it under a real estate, anything, yeah. right? Because right. obviously we, you and I both know banks frown upon or lenders frown upon real estate, right? So if you want real funding, he said, set up a marketing and consulting company where you're going to use that to, uh, you're going to use the other two companies to pay a marketing fee to yep. your marketing and consulting company. Then you'll be able yep. to use that company to funnel everything through it and write everything off. Right? So now you're able to position yourself as a marketing and consulting company to be able right. to get all the money you need. It's much easier to get money for that type of company than it, it is. is for a high risk company like real estate or anything right. related to finance, right? Yeah. So that's yep. a gym right there. Gym number two. <laughs> right that yeah, it's funny. I'm saying it. Somebody talk, like you said, your asset manager, my CPA, all of these things that we've learned. And that's why, like I said, I was happy to do this with you, Jamel. Happy you brought me onto this podcast because. The, the, strong, the more information that we're willing to share and not just a little tidbit, not just a little piece to make you click the video, but like really telling you the whole thing That's that right. you literally can set up these businesses that can get funding and then it's invoicing another LLC and you like there's so much power in this knowledge that they're not teaching you in school. You're not going to get no college degree and they learn it. You're not even getting the MBA. Trust me. That's I right. got those letters behind my name. They did not teach me that. That's right. So. It's going to take an entrepreneur and it's going to take us who's really done it and actually gotten funding to say, okay, this is how you do it. These are the banks that are do it. These are the unadvertised programs they have, the whole nine. And when you walk into a company, I mean, when you walk into a bank and your company is set up the right way, I mean, honestly, you can walk out with six figures easily. Yes. And is that going to be enough for you to start your real estate business? Absolutely. It, should, it better be. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You got a video that I was recently looking at it was in regards to how having six figures, once you get your first hundred thousand, how that can easily change your circumstances to become a millionaire. Right. Um, you want to talk about some of the principles in that video? Yeah, yeah, let's talk about that because again, I think, and, and I, cause I think some people think that, you know, they, they all, I hear that number. I don't know about you, but I get that number all the time. Yeah. $10,000 a month. People yep. just, they want that $10,000 a month. Obviously that's $120,000 per year. That's right. And the truth of the matter is that is a good number to start with. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Quite frankly, $10,000 per month puts you in the 1% income of the world. Yep. 
It does. So that is a really good start. And now at that point, you don't need to live off $10,000 per month. You actually now have money to do what? To invest. And that's really where the wealth is built. You know what I mean? Yes, there's these active strategies that we do, but the truth of the matter is we're growing our money. And that is how you get wealthy. You cannot work your way to rich. You're not going to save your way to rich. So what do you have to do? You have to invest. And if you only make a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, you're not really going to have too much money to invest. But if you get to that point where you get that ten thousand dollars coming in, you can easily start investing four or five thousand dollars per month and skyrocket your wealth. So that was really what the, the video was about and the education was about because it really does get you, you know, ten thousand to thirty thousand to fifty thousand and you can really grow from there. But you gotta crack that first ten grand a month. That's right. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, I'm gonna go ahead and link that up in the cards up at the top. I think that's a super important video. I think everybody, including myself, my first goal when I was in my early twenties was to get to 10,000 a month. If I could hit that number, it was like going to change, absolutely <laughs> change things for me. Right. Right. Now, if I make $10,000, Oh month, my God, man, we might cry. I might jump off the bridge. <laughs> right? but, I said the so, same thing also. Like I might jump off a bridge if I only made $10,000. How would I pay? You that's know, right. X, that's y, right. Z. But at the so, same time, you have to get there. It's the same thing with everything. Yep. You, you have to get to that first, milestone like you have to get mm -hmm. to 5,000 subscribers before you get to 10,000 you don't just that's start right. off the gate you open up a channel and boom I got 100,000 subscribers no that's not how that works that's right <laughs> it, it takes time right so the the goal here is to get to your first 10,000 a month then save right. up your first hundred thousand dollars right and right. once you can get to a hundred thousand dollars in savings yeah. you know be, becoming a millionaire at that point is I mean is I mean, it's so easy because you have it's access to the resources. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> right. And then you don't necessarily need to save up a hundred thousand. Noel true. teaches a lot about business credit and things like that. How can you use the business credit to buy real estate, Noel? Yes. Okay. So let's talk about that because I don't think that people realize what that your 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 personal credit was never designed to fund your business. That's right. And if you could literally take business funding, money that's for your business, and buy an income-producing asset that is going up in value and you buy it distressed. So it, you already came in the door with equity. Like that right there is how I became a millionaire. And so that's the way that I know. And that's the way that I was taught. And mm -hmm. so that's what I would, would want other people to realize. Like this has worked for decades. The person that taught me this, I was in 2009. He was 70 something years old, my mentor. He's passed away now. And he had been doing it for like 50 years. So if I'm telling you this in 2024, you know this is tried and true. You know this isn't new information like, ooh, buy something that makes money. But I just don't think that we realize we usually might take the money for business credit or business funding. We might, we got a t-shirt business. So we'll be buying t-shirts, we're buying inventory. Do you realize you could buy a house with that? You yep. could buy like five houses. You could get $100,000 and literally, and again, this is not some big goal, and end up with five pieces of real estate. And now you're a millionaire. That's right. And at the end of the day, you know, again, if you invest your money wisely, ha again, having that information, uh, yeah. you, went, you had a mentor initially, yeah. I did as well, who showed me the ropes. My mentor, um, I was already in the real estate business, but Steve had 120 rental properties at the time and his, some of his colleagues had 5,000 units at the time. I've never heard of anybody having that many units at the time. Right. So that just gave me something to look forward to. But he showed me, he said, no, this is how you do this. You know yeah. what I mean? You're doing it this way. Let me show you something else and, and show right. you how to build real wealth. And, yeah. you know, a lot of us, especially in our community, like we are afraid to invest into our education a lot. Yeah. You know, a lot of us are um, behind on the eight ball because we don't have the right information. And that's why right. Noel and us, you know, Noel and I, we put our uh, content out on YouTube to be able to share real information. If you visit her channel, if you go to my channel, you'll see real information that will allow you, if you just implemented it, right? Because right. information without implementation Actually, means nothing. Exactly, it's nothing. Right? So if you, can, if you can implement what you're learning, uh, through both of these channels at the end of the day, you can really change your circumstances. But if you want to speed things up, what we provide is something called speed of implementation, right? right. You implement, if you want to move the line a lot quicker, skip the learning yeah. curve, you, right. know, you can invest into our programs. You know, yep. I have a coaching program. Noel has one. 
Next week, she's going to be going through a step-by-step -step training uh, so that you guys can be able to incorporate that. Not to date this video because you might be watching this two years from now, but if you just put right. the link in the description box, yes. you know, you'll see uh, she's providing services to help you be able to skip the learning curve uh, yeah. in order to be able to really create that situation that you want out of life. You know, yeah. uh, got, you guys on my channel, you know, I'm trying to create financial situations for families, right? Um, to me, With family so is powerful. a big thing. Thing because I that's that's such a core. Imagine if we just did it family by family. Oh man, forget about it. I mean, you, we're talking about real generational wealth, which is something yes. else that you talk about yes. as well. And you have a family, right? So I do. I got, I, got, I got a husband. I got seven kids. Uh, I say right. seven, seven. But it's five that I gave birth to. One of them is, is special needs. So mm -hmm. we got to do this for them, and that's we have right. to start changing that mindset and letting people know that. This is not some high in the sky idea. Like this is just something that people have been doing for decades. That's right. For decades. And even the mentorship and paying for information that has been around way before. And yeah, I think maybe please. why some of us are a little more skeptical is because it's the first time we're really hearing about it. So it's right. like, wait, what? You gonna charge me? Are you a millionaire? Shouldn't you teach me for free? Nah, baby, I paid this other millionaire. This and it costs time. <laughs> we're talking about time, investing time into your success. Right. But that's what, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? Right. Um, now you have seven kids. I have five, yeah. right? This yeah. is a, the true essence of a family. So how can we support large families like this? Think about it, guys. We're investing in the <laughs> right. real estate. I, right. you, I got two refrigerators at my house. Two <laughs> Me too. Boxes, so I already know. So you got to <laughs> have two money. Food in there. Because <laughs> these kids, man, they'll eat you out of house and home for real. I'll be like, we just went to the store. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, and, and why does every day cost $250? Right, right. <laughs> Every bags, day, you know? <laughs> but, but we, we do this happily because yeah. of the circumstances that we allowed ourselves, the positions that we put ourselves in to be able to take care of these families, right? I would have never thought I would have had five kids, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm happy. I love a big family and yeah. the, cre the generational things that we're creating through the family, through properties and, and financial education that I'm teaching my kids. Um, yeah. I know you're doing a lot for your family and, and for your community and things like that as well. At the end of the day, you know, this is what this is all about. This is, this is real success. It's not about financial success all the time. Uh, right. Sometimes it's just about, you know, having, uh, what type of impact can you have on your family? You know what I mean? Right. What type of impact can you have on your community? Can you have on your right. friends? But right. it's, honestly, it's that financial situation, that financial position will allow you to do all of these things. And yeah. do it without the struggle. You know what I mean? Yes. And there's room for more of us. That's another thing too. I, yep. That's another thing that I think that me and you, we, we really connect on. Not just the family and all these kids that we got <laughs> in two refrigerators, <laughs> but also on the fact that we really are stronger together because That's there's right. so many different things. You know what I mean? Jamel has Deal Pro Academy and he has, you know, his deal compounding that he's doing and, and he focuses on seller financing and what you were saying about seller financing with, you know, homes that are free and clear. Absolutely amazing. Great specialty. Great thing that somebody can focus on. I'm focusing on taking over payments and different things like that. We got another guy that focuses on tax lien investing right. and some of those things. And, you know, somebody that's saying lease options. And again, it's not that this is a scam or this is a scam. No, these are all actual things that you can do yep. to really change your financial situation. So I am so proud. I'm so happy that there Likewise. are more of us actually doing this. And more importantly, I'm, I'm so happy there's more of us talking about it and teaching us. Absolutely right. Now, I, I know you said you take over payments. We're talking about subject too. You want to touch on that yeah. a little bit? Yeah, yeah, let's talk about that. So this was Noel's actual way to wealth. Like this is really the thing that made me a millionaire was the taking over payment system, the subject too. So like I said, I had first got a coach in 2009 and I just focused on wholesaling because I had bad credit, no money and no job. So it, there wasn't going to be no fixing and flipping because ain't nobody give me no hard money loan. It wasn't going to be no rental <laughs> properties because I can't do nothing. So <laughs> it was wholesaling. But then after I got some money wholesaling and I got successful at fixing and flipping, I really decided like I could get, I'm getting these properties at distressed 
you know, distress levels. And I know real estate goes up in value over time. So I really started just focusing in on those pre foreclosures, people that were three months behind on the mortgage, four months behind on the mortgage, like they're about to go into foreclosure. I use the money to catch the payments up and that's the down payment. And then I take over their mortgage payments. And of course, they do have to move out of the house. But now that is my property. We close on it. My name is on the deed. And I just started doing that all around Texas. At the time, I was in Texas. And I was doing this in San Antonio. I was doing this in Austin. I was in Dallas. I was driving all the right to, you know, to those three major cities and picking up real estate and building a portfolio with this. And then I look up and my, my CPA is like, you know, you're a millionaire with all of these different properties and what they're worth. And the fun thing about it was, those mortgages were not on my credit report. And I just love that because I'm able mm-hmm. to take over those mortgage payments. So, and especially that why I love that strategy even for 2024, because the interest rates are much higher. I'm able to target people that have 3% mortgage. They're about to go in foreclosure and their mortgage rate. Right. I literally say to my mortgage, it was 2.75. I'm like, we cannot let that go back to the no, bank. You nope. know what I mean? I'm like, That's please give me Right. You cannot find those rates and those rates are not coming back anytime that I can foresee. I just I don't see those sub three percent interest rates coming back. And there's millions of them out here. So I'm picking up the equity. I'm picking up a mortgage with a really low interest rate. I'm helping someone because when I catch up those mortgage payments, I'm literally helping them. And like you said, we're going to talk about this help for a second. I've actually fixed their credit. That's right. You're preventing them from going to foreclosure at the end of the day. Right. Yeah, and I, I caught those And payments. then as you make the payments, the mortgage. credit... That reports to the credit bureau. When I send in, so they say they five months past due, and I send in, you know, $15,000 and catch those mortgage Guess payments right up. up. Guess what? Their credit score got fixed. Not yeah. all the way. I mean, you know, they still got all them late payments and all them rolling 90s and rolling 120s that was there. But I actually have seen people's credit score go up over 100 points when Easy. I caught those mortgage payments up. Save your credit. That's right. So again, we're, we're looking at opportunities where we can help people. And that's where we yeah. make the biggest bang for the buck. I teach this to you guys all the time. We solve yeah. problems. If we solve the, the bigger the problem to solve, the more money we can make at the end of the day. Right. If we solve that's the problem. Right. Four of us out here helping. Like I said, you've been through foreclosure. I've been through foreclosure. Yeah. I would have loved if a Noel or Jamel called me and told me this. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. So, that's right. Yeah. So, Noel's challenge.com. Um, yep. I know you got a challenge going on right yeah. now. It's going to be um, four days um, where I'm teaching again, four days, an hour each day, just going over one of the different things, how to find um, these properties. I'll give you some more details, the apps that we use. Um, day two, we're going over kind of what to say to those sellers. Then day three, we're going to be talking about the business credit and the business funding. Like once you find them, where you going to get the money to catch some of these payments up and stuff like that. We show you how to do that. And then last but not least, then we're going to show you, you know, how the different strategies. So obviously, um, subject to taking over payment systems, but you could do so many different things. You could do lease purchase options. You could do fix and flips. You could wholesale the property. Like there's so many different exit strategies and for different people's personality. So I really would love for people to come to that. Super inexpensive. It's four days of learning. Noelschallenge.com. We'll put a link below um, and Jamel's um, so Jamel can get credit for anybody that he sends the way. And then maybe one day, even me and Jamel will do a challenge and, and, and combine. I, deal. I would absolutely love it. Let, let, let's make that. We should, if you guys want to see that, put a, put a, if you're watching right. it on YouTube, exactly. leave a comment. Exactly. Comment that below if you want to see Jamel and Noel. <laughs> yeah. That'll be, that'll be a dope one right there. Yeah. I think that'll be I fire. Think, so listen, yeah. noelschallenge.com. Um, Make sure you guys check that out in the description box below. Obviously, you know, if you're on my channel, chances are you do know Noel Randall. Uh, you've probably seen some videos that we've done in the past. Yeah. Um, but I, either way, you know, if you if you know Jamel Gibbs, you got to know Noel. <laughs> and you'll know that we're providing real value online. That's right. That's um, right. Another thing, Noel, before you go, what are some of the obstacles that people will face um, as investors if Let's say they got a family. Let's say they're brand new to this and maybe they're making good money at their job, but they just don't know what to do. 
What what are some of the obstacles people will face? Yes, most of it is gonna be just analysis paralysis. Like again, we're on YouTube, so there's tons of different people telling you different things, giving you all of these different strategies. So for most people, it's gonna be finding which one is for them, and then just right. kind of picking that horse. So like this is the thing that I do, and then doing that thing. I think more than anything, people have all of this fear, like. Oh man, what if I lose money? Oh man, I wanted to do this. And and, and 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 like I said, my original point though is the dabbling, is the mm-hmm. I'm gonna try this thing right quick and then jump back off of it. I'm gonna try this thing right quick and I'm gonna jump back off it. And if you really wanna get to success, yeah, we're me and Jamel are telling you these are our amazing stories, but the truth of the matter is we really had to stick with something. We could not just keep jumping from thing to thing, you know, trying each new thing and think that you're gonna be a millionaire. You really gotta hone in on what it is that you want to do, what community you want to help, because that's really what this is about. Mm -hmm. And for me, like I said, because I had been through foreclosure, that was the community that I wanted to help. So you find who you want to help and the money will come. I think at the end of the day, you can get rich in anything you do, as long as you put the time into it, anything, right? right? And at the end of the day, you know, if you guys really put forth the effort and you have that goal and you keep your blinders on for a period of time, yeah. You know, you, you can absolutely change your life. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's going to be a lot of mindset. I tell people it's mostly mindset. I'm not that smart. Um, yeah, I got letters and behind names and stuff. I just, it takes some time. I have to, somebody can tell me something two, three times before I get what you're saying. So it's not about- <laughs> hey, same not- here. <laughs> <laughs> same here. Especially when you got all these kids running around, you know, at the end of the day, exactly. you know, <laughs> look. They'll, they'll keep your brain working for real. So it, it does take me a little bit of time to catch up sometimes. You know yep. what I mean? We, we lack in sleep sometimes over here. That's right. You know, That's right. <laughs> but uh, any last words for our listeners at all? No. So I just, all again, I want to tell everybody what I always tell them. You can do it. Like if there's nobody else in the whole world that believes in you, know that Noel believes in you. I used to be somebody that everybody counted out, you know, single mom and this, that, and the other. I had so many people tell me that I couldn't do it, that I couldn't be successful in real estate or I couldn't be successful on YouTube. And they were all wrong. Do not believe the people that tell you they don't know what, what you're capable of. So if nobody else believes in you, know that Noel Randall believes in you. I love it. Noel Randall, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, subscribe to Noel as well. If you're not subscribed, you don't know what you're missing out on. I'm subscribed. You need to be (laughs) subscribed as well. But she has killer content on her channel and she has a, 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 a mindset that will help you grow as an individual at the end of the day. If you want to grow, if you want to make real money, in any business. She not only covers real estate, but she covers business credit. She covers a lot of different things on her channel. Um, Wealth of knowledge. If you guys just simply implement what she's talking about, you will absolutely change your circumstances. Stick with one thing at a time, put your blinders on, take massive action, and you'll get massive results. I'm going to leave all the links in the description box for you guys to check out Noel. Noel, we really appreciate you joining us today. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.